I'm sorry. I'm, uh, I didn't mean to it's melt down like it's that. It's okay. Don't apologize, all right? I'm glad I was here. And you get to be scared, okay? Your father's about to have major surgery. I'm just so... My mind is reeling. I just... I can't reconcile the dad that I know with the man that was in that bed. He was just... so helpless. And, you know, when I looked at him, it just hit me like a freight train. My dad could actually die. I, I, I mean, I know everyone dies eventually. It's just, it's... I just don't want to lose your father right now. Yeah, that and I, I don't, I don't want to see my dad deal with coming out of the hospital less than he was when he went in. I swear, if my dad makes it out of this hospital healthy and whole, I will never give him any grief about taking off ever again. I want you to listen to me, all right? I'm sure your father's going to be just fine, okay? But no matter what happens, I promise you, you don't ever have to be alone. Just about to find out, Monica. I don't know. What do you mean you don't know, Monica? You're the surgeon. You're the one who insisted on having that surgery tonight. You have to know. Tracy, you aren't helping. Let Monica speak. I would love to hear her speak, but so far she seems incapable. Monica, just tell us, please. Snoop. Dr. Julian is, um, is trying to repair the damage. What damage, Monica? You were right, Tracy. I never should have ever performed surgery. It was very arrogant of me to think that I could use my emotional detachment that I had developed as a doctor over the years to just push away Emily's death, to just block it out and go on and do what I knew I did best, and that was saving lives. Monica! I what about Luke? I froze. I saw Emily's face everywhere. And I lost focus. And then I thought I was losing him. But when you left the operating room, my dad was still alive, right? Yes, Dr. Julian is doing everything he can. I just hope to God he makes it. Excuse me. We are all sympathetic for your loss. We're thankful to you for trying to help Luke. I was there when you got the results of Luke's last test. He had to have the surgery immediately. You were courageous to take it on. No. No, I was just bearing my pain at work at the expense of a patient. Save him, but I. I'm not gonna mislead you. When Dr. Julian got in there, he was slipping away. I'm so relieved my dad's okay. I was so scared. It's good to see you smiling again. <sighs> yeah, I really want to see him. Well, you go do what you want to do, but you probably ought to let him rest, you know? Yeah, yeah, you're probably right. Tracy is probably all over him. <laughs> well, tonight was a horrible night, but it would have been so much worse without you. I wouldn't be anywhere else.